is The Sports Bra, your weekly dose of sports news, information, entertainment, and lifestyle with a feminine twist. I am your host, Angela Davis. Now, sports this past week has been hot like fire, and we have got it all just for you. Work at it now, hard work. Come on, push it. That's it. For me, it's just always trying to stay above the curve and stay one step ahead of my competitors. When should I go? As soon as they switch, that's when you got to catch and go. That's the time to take your opportunity. The Super Bowl stage is set, and the Denver Broncos will face off against the Seattle Seahawks. It is going down in the Meadowlands on Sunday, February 2nd. Are you ready? Are you ready? Who is going to win the coveted trophy? Mm. Well, if you watched any of Sunday's championship games, then you know that everybody is talking about Richard Sherman. That's right, the Seattle Seahawks self-proclaimed best cornerback in the league made the play in the game covering San Francisco 49ers receiver Michael Crabtree. His play was the play that turned the game for Seattle. Game over, Seahawks win. Now, this was great for Richard Sherman. Then things kind of got ugly. He went up to Crabtree, offered him a good word. In turn, he got a smush to the face. After that, Sherman wasn't feeling so great. In fact, he was kind of angry. And in his immediate post-game interview with Fox Sports reporter Aaron Andrews, this is what he had to say. Well, I'm the best corner in the game. When you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree, that's the result you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who is talking about you? Crabtree, don't you open your mouth about the best. Or you're going to shut it for you real quick. Now after that, there were all kinds of comments on Twitter and social media, and Sherman was called everything, like a like rude, and he was the sore winner, and he was arrogant, and all kinds of nasty, ugly things, which of course set off a Twitter war between Sherman and Crabtree. Things have just sort of gotten uglier since then. Now, I think fans need to back up a little bit. Remember, these are young men in their early 20s playing a game. They are passionate, they are fired up, and in the moment, they are you know, likely to say a lot of things. So I think we also have to remember that this is sports, people. Trash talking has been a part of the game since its inception, and it's not gonna change. And for those of you who think that Richard Sherman is a bit arrogant, how quickly we forget about Muhammad Ali. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Equally talked about was Fox Sports sideline reporter Pam Oliver. No, she didn't get hit with a ball, and no, there were no wardrobe malfunctions, but there was another kind of malfunction. Her hair, I mean, it was like her do didn't get done, and people were all over it, talking about how bad her hair looked, which of course sparked a lot of other controversy, um, controversy along racial and lines along gender, and it just went kind of crazy. Now, a lot of people say that Pam Oliver is one of the best in the business, and I couldn't agree more. I think she should also look her best. First it was Venus, now it's Serena. Serena is out of the Australian Open. That's right, she lost in the fourth round to Serbia's Anna Ivanovic. She later admitted that she was suffering and in pain with back problems. That's all right, Serena. We know you will pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and win again. And Dennis Rodman is out of commission. Well, the notorious ex-NBA baller has checked himself into rehab. Now this follows his controversial trip to North Korea where he had his infamous rant on CNN and defended his friendship with North Korean leader and then the trip sort of went downhill after that. Dennis Rodman's manager said that that trip took a toll on him and he later admitted drinking, and then now Rodman is back in rehab. We hope that he gets it right. His location has not been disclosed. Well, we know where Darren Sharper is, or at least where he was. The NFL analyst and Jersey Girl Sports hottie was arrested on rape charges and three additional sexual assaults. I mean, really, Darren Sharper? I mean, I don't know what's going on with this story, but stay tuned at jerseygirlsports.com for more details. And Alex Rodriguez is still in the news. I mean, he is the talked about star right now in the Major League Baseball, and so much so that he made it all the way to Saturday Night Live, sorta. Rapper Drake impersonated Alex Rodriguez on the episode on Saturday night, doing a parody of A-Rod, and uh, it's 
quite hilarious. Make sure you check that out on our Facebook page. It's about that time, Jersey Girl Sports fan. We're getting ready for the Super Bowl. You know what that means, food, parties, commercials. Get yourself together. Are you ready? It is time to get yourself ready for the most watched program in television history. It happens every year. I need you to get your mind right. Get your game tight, okay? Now, make sure you check out our Jersey Girlfriend page for the top five things you need to do to get ready for the Super Bowl. And let me tell you, sports has just been hot and we're gonna end today a little bit hotter with Seattle Seahawks quarterback, Russell Wilson. Mm, mm, good. Make sure you check that out and more on our Facebook page and on Twitter and yes, even on Instagram. Make sure you get everything else you need at jerseygirlsports.com. This is the Sports Bra, women, sports, lifestyle.